Welcome to another episode of Shipper War, my review of Captain Phillips. Shipper War, when ship happens, I'm there. Captain Phillips stars Tom Hanks in a true story that took place in 2009 where four Somalian pirates end up hijacking an American cargo ship. And this is the first hijacking to take place for any American ship in the past 200 years. Now, I went into this movie knowing the story, or at least how the story ended, but not knowing how it started and what took place in the middle. So going into this movie, it was very interesting to see how this story unfolded. And the one thing I really, really liked about this movie was that what I saw in the media and what this film showed were so different like the media was very biased in a way it's like they made the Somalian pirates look like really bad people while this movie it actually makes you sympathize with these pirates and it actually opens your eyes as to why they did what they did. As most Americans they sometimes don't realize how bad other people outside of our country has it and in this movie you kind of see that and you kind of see Captain Phillips having that same mentality, not getting why these pirates are doing what they're doing. And you see this exchange between Captain Phillips and the pirates, and especially one of the pirates, which is the lead pirate, he's the captain, who was a wonderful actor, by the way. They have this little exchange where Captain Phillips is just completely, just doesn't understand why they're doing what they're doing. And they basically explain to him that this is not America. We don't have the same opportunities that you do. It kind of hits hard when you're hearing this and seeing these people do these ridiculous things just so they can have money and just the fact that they're not just free people. They're being controlled by other people and just knowing that these four guys are not even officially adults they're still teenagers which they never explained in the movie but in reality these four hijackers were all teenagers so it's pretty intense to just know the you know backstory and just seeing it unfold it was very emotional you really feel for what's happening by the end of the movie, Tom Hanks does such a wonderful job. You'll possibly end up crying <laughs> because it's so emotional and so intense. And Tom Hanks does a great job just driving it home with the emotion. He did an excellent job. He's definitely going to get nominated for Best Actor for the Oscars. If not, then I, I don't even know because he did such a wonderful job with this movie. He was on his A-game with this film. As for the romance in the movie, there's not much of a romance. In the beginning of the movie when they're building up the story and they're showing Captain Phillips, you know, getting ready to go for his trip, you see his interaction with his wife, which is played by the only actor that I actually recognize throughout the whole cast, and that's Katherine Kenner which you probably all know her from 40 Year Old Version and some other films. So she was the only one I'm like, hey, I recognize her, okay. But then after that, I was like, a bunch of like actors I really did not know who they were. And I was like, okay, so it's just Tom Hanks here. Cool. So I definitely recommend this movie to everyone to see. It's a great movie. It's one of those movies that I think everybody should, you know, take the time to watch and see this actual true event happen and see the reality of the world out there. So that is all for this episode of Ship War. Thank you for watching, and if you haven't already, please subscribe. Star Trek Into Darkness stars Chris Pine, Zachary Quinto, Zoe Zandana, Simon Pegg, John Cho, Carl Urban, and Benedict Cumberbatch, I believe I said his name right, and so many other very talented actors that I probably forgot. I apologize, it's just a very good cast. Star Trek Into Darkness is a continuation of Star Trek, the new reboot of the Star Trek franchise. In this movie, we have this one character, 